It's the Ridgeline 4K camera. Radio. So here's the camera out of the box. Probably one of the main things I like about it is the fact that when you open it up, it's a nice sealed off little small section with just the screen in it and not the whole camera opening up down traditional stand the whole lot opens up to get access to the batteries. We have a button here, push it, makes this bottom bit here. It's again fully sealed. A little bit tight they are to get out that first click, but your batteries go in this little carry all. I really like that. It's fully sealed in down the bottom here, and your terminals are right at the top. So the moisture has to get in and get right at the top, up in the back there, to get anywhere near. Problems I do have with a lot of the cheaper cameras that I have brought is because they open up, it gets moisture into the moisture into the batteries, and I only last one, two years out in the bush. The menu is pretty easy and simple to work through as well. You got you got a couple of switches on the side here, off, on, I'll set up in the middle. We've got our mode, our up and down, and our OK. Pretty straightforward. Cord here, connect it on so you can connect it to your computer to have a look what's on there. It comes with a strap, strap of the tree, which is fine if it's somewhere where you, it's not going to get stolen. It's also got the, the adjustable bracket. And then the camera can pivot and swivel and turn off that up, down, however you want from that point. Well, it does work great. Menu is very easy to use menu, but most of them are nowadays, pretty simple. Turn on, set the date, set how many photos you want, set how long you want the video. I started off with 30 second videos, I've upped it to minute videos. The little screen in here is not too bad. I like that the screen stays on here too, so when you attach it to a tree, you can actually walk away and look and see where you are. The ones that tend to fold out and the screen stays on the front, they're great to open up and look at to review your footage, but they're a bit harder to set up because you can't walk back and see that you're still on the screen. SD card just in the side here. A great little camera. Well, like I said, flick over, we'll watch some, we'll watch some footage, a heap of photos and videos, and see how it actually performs in the bush. But so far, very happy with how it works. Now it's much like any other camera. It has the, the low glow infrared, but they do see it. More so in the video mode than the photo mode. If you'll see as we go through the, some of the photos and videos, they definitely seem to notice that the camera's on. Now the one I had set up, I have it set up where it is about half a meter off the ground and it's looking at a preaching tree. And you'll see by the video and the photos that plenty of deer tend to notice it when it comes on. It's more that video, video time they notice when it's on than the photos. But they definitely come look at it and, and check it out. But I haven't had many cameras that don't have deer do that. And in the area where I have it, it does get a fair bit of hunting pressure on the properties next door and does get professional shooters in there. So the deer are very infrared uh, wary from all the infrared shooting they were getting. But the pro shooters in there shooting the deer and the kangaroos. So they, they definitely are very wary and they've been wary of every camera I've ever put in there. So it's no different this camera than the others. So video mode. Is, is it can film in 4K, which is great, so you get good resolution in, in, in the video. Uh, you can do 24 megapixel photos, so it's great for that. Not that I use my trail cameras to get great photos of deer. I use them mainly just to be able to see what's around and put them on areas to get a pattern of deer movement is my main thing with trail cameras. That's what I preach to most of my customers is rather than doing the wallow, the preaching tree, the standard places to put them, sit them in an area where you get traffic of deer moving through. So going through through to feeding areas. Preaching trees can be not bad in that area, and signpost trees. If they're an area where the deer is coming from bedding areas and, and bedding gullies into feeding gullies or the backs of farmlands or high, high feed areas, you can get a pattern of movement of when the deer are moving through, and that becomes a huntable pattern. And that's all I like cameras for. You can also use them to, to pick out what sort of quality animals are in the area to notify if there's a, a good stag that you're actually looking for in that area. But the main pattern I use them for is that, that movement pattern. So. I like that it has a good, good night vision, good, good RI, like it says the sensors and stuff work out at 20 metres and I'd have to believe that. I've got the camera set up 8 metres from the tree 
and I get plenty of pictures of the deer there, but I get plenty of pictures of the deer that are actually behind in the in the bush and walking around above and the other side of the, of the tree, and it picks them up in the daytime and nighttime. So it actually senses a fair way off and takes a good quality photo. Happy hunting everybody!